The TM4C 123G H6PM has four different types of memory, flash, SRAM, EE PROM, and ROM. In Chapter 8, you'll learn about the different features and capabilities of these memories. You'll also learn how to use bit banding and how to use the Memory Protection Unit, or MPU. This diagram shows you the memory controller on the device. Note that there are separate buses for instruction, address, and data. Connection to the data in flash, the control registers, and the SRAM array is done through a separate system bus. This means the internal architecture is Harvard. Double EEPROM control is separate from the other memories because it is located in peripheral space. The security block prevents double EEPROM memory from being inadvertently written. Double EEPROM is connected to the advanced high performance bus for maximum speed. Below 40 MHz, access to flash memory is single cycle. The instruction prefetch fetches two 32 bit words per cycle. Since Thumb2 instructions are a maximum of 32 bits in length, the device can fetch at least two instructions per cycle. This prefetch is important at speeds above 40 MHz. Because of it, in a straight line sequ sequential code, no wait states are required, even at 80 MHz. The issue will be branches. The part has branch speculation so that on one direction of the branch, it prefetches the instruction in that direction, avoiding a wait state. Your code will incur a wait state only on one side of branches, allowing 40 MHz flash to operate at near 80 MHz speeds. Write and execution protection are available on the flash so that it can't be written to without a password. It has a very simple programming interface, as we'll see in the lab. Double EEPROM memory is 2K in length, starting at 0x400A, F000. It's accessible as 512 32 bit words broken up into 32 blocks of 16 words. Each block has access protection built in using 32 to 96 bit codes. This protection is also available at the module level. The memory has an endurance of 500,000 writes with built in wear leveling. When writing to double EEPROM from code, Write completion can be assured either through polling or with an interrupt. Random read-write access to double EEPROM requires four cycles per word. Sequential writes require the same amount for the first access and then single cycle for each one afterwards. SRAM memory is 32K long, starting at 20 million, and operates at 80 MHz. That physical memory is bit-banded into 22 million. SRAM can hold code or data. You can execute code out of SRAM if you choose to do so. Tiva C-Series devices utilize bit banding. This can reduce the number of read, modify, write operations done in your code. SRAM and peripheral space use an address alias to access individual bits in a single atomic operation. Physical SRAM memory starts at a base address of 20 million. The bit banded alias of that memory starts at base address 22 million. Peripheral space starts at a base address of 40 million. Bit banded peripheral space starts at a base address of 42 million. To calculate the bit banded alias, use the formula here. The code we'll be using in the lab does this at runtime. The memory protection unit defines eight separate memory regions plus a background region that's accessible only from privileged mode. Regions 256 bytes or larger in size get divided into eight equal sized subregions. MPU configuration can be rel relatively simple or very complex depending on your goal. You can configure different attributes for each region and subregion. For example, allow code execution, allow data, allow writes, etc. Accessing a region in a prohibited way will cause an immediate memory management fault. The Cortex-M4 has two different privilege levels, privileged and unprivileged. These levels offer additional protection for your software, particularly if you're using an operating system. In unprivileged mode, software has limited access to the priority mass register, no access to the system timer, the NVIC, 
or the system control block, and possibly restricted access to memory or peripherals. Privileged software has use of all instructions and has access to all resources. Interrupt service routines operate in privileged mode. Threaded code, like in an operating system, operates in unprivileged mode unless the level is changed via the thread mode privileged level bit in the control register. In Lab 8, you'll create code to write to Flash and the rewrite double EEPROM. You'll also experiment with bit banding. Then you'll configure and use the memory protection unit.